Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel, and um, I wanted to talk about the what seems to be a renewed interest for Windows 10 at the uh, Microsoft Windows and Devices division. Um, one thing for sure, it's very difficult for Microsoft to pretend or to think Windows 10 isn't there. It's still the dominant operating system. It's close to a billion machines still running it. And honestly, why not take that popularity and do something with it? And I think that's what the new leader, uh, Yusuf Mehdi, is about to do. One of the things for sure is this would not have happened if Panos Panay would have stayed there. Panos Panay would have pushed Windows 11 and... Um, possibly would have pushed Windows 12. We understand one thing is that the Windows 11 to 12 and that new change in Windows, um, you know, back to a three-year uh, Windows schedule is not entirely Panos Panay, I think. Now, Yusuf Mehdi has a different take on it, and there's many things brewing right now with uh, Windows 10. And I think it's interesting. And this could actually change so many things next year from you know we know windows 12 it's probably being worked on uh, internally at microsoft we have um, windows 11 that uh, you know it's a quarter of the machines it's not that it's um it's it's not used i mean they there there is roughly close to 400 million pcs running it that's that's pretty nice uh, but it's got bad press, and it's got a hard time gaining partly because of bad press, partly because of minimum requirements. I think a lot of you out there with machines that do not have the minimum requirement, um, like this machine I'm running right here, which does say here this PC does not currently meet minimum requirement, uh, will be happy to see that that would be an extension. And I think... Just the fact that they're talking about it and where we are at, at a billion machines running Windows 10, um, something's going to happen, that's for sure. Uh, I've had a lot of people comment saying, hey, they're happy, yay. Uh, and a lot of people saying, well, you know, it'd be funny if they extended for like five years or, yeah, I don't know how long they would extend. I would uh, personally think they would extend maybe two years, two to three years. Um, we'll see. And, um, of course, all of that will go with the popularity of Windows 12. Uh, when this could be announced, I have an idea that I was thinking about, and it's the fact that they could be waiting in, but after Windows 12 is released to announce an extension to Windows 10 because they'll be able to further see how much market share Windows 11 is gotten a year later and what's happening with windows 12 the popularity that it might have so it's not for tomorrow definitely uh new features you know they did say that 22h2 is the last version what about if they had that crazy idea of uh saying uh you know what um maybe next year we'll have 24h2 with tons of features i would see that happening with the change that they are actually talking about. But definitely, I think Windows 10 users are in a kind of a renewed interest moment that could be exciting. Um, and especially, you know, if it makes your PC run many years more, uh, that's a good thing. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.